Hi, I'm Mike Glenn, and I'm the senior pastor of Brentwood Baptist Church, and we're glad that you have joined us on our YouTube channel. If uh, you like what we're doing, then hit that like button or uh, the subscribe button. My people who do this say this is really important. So I have to say that at the first and at the last of everything. Now, uh, people come to me with questions all the time, and most of the time people ask the wrong question. And if you get the wrong question, you get the wrong answer. Uh, when I was in, in college, we had a professor who was famous for asking one question on his final. And it was an effort all semester long to find out what was on that final. And my uh, fraternity brother, Andy, he figured out what was on that final. He said, it's going to be this question. And he studied like crazy on that one question. Well, you know what happened. He got there and Dr. Brown asked the other question. So Andy, in a panic, came up with a brilliant response. He said, this is a great question you've asked, and he answered it the best way he could, and then he said another, another good question would have been, and he asked the question that he studied for, and he answered that one. Dr. Brown gave him a C. He got an F on the question that was asked, an A on the question he answered, and it averaged out to a C. All of us want to know what's God will for my life, where am I doing with my life, am I doing the right thing for my life? And we always, and we always get that down to, well, am I in the right profession? Am I the right person? Here's God's will for your life in one simple statement. This is it. God's will for your life is for you to look as much like Jesus Christ as possible. That's it. Everything else is detail. How can in my life and my journey become more and more like Christ? Everything else is detail. So your first question is, is what do I need to do to look more like Christ? Yes, that includes prayer. That includes Bible study. Uh, that includes being with other believers. Uh, it includes obedience in the things that I know. Uh, it also includes uh, putting things uh, in my life that help me look more like Christ. Um, it, it helps me if I read certain books. Uh, by certain authors that ha that I know inspire me and focus me. It it helps if I don't read other kinds of books. Uh, it helps if I if I watch certain kinds of programs. It doesn't help if I watch other kinds of programs. Now, everybody begins into a panic because well, there's a whole lot of things that Jesus says I can't do. No, 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 no. It's not a matter of can't do and can do. It's a matter of does this help me look more like Christ. If it doesn't help me do or look more like Christ, then I don't do it. Uh, I don't do those things that, that keep me from becoming all I want to become as a Christ follower. It's not that you can't do it. We're free, we, we, and we have the freedom to do a lot of things. It's a matter of this is my priority. This is my choice. Now, uh, who I date, does this person I'm dating help me be like Christ? Uh, you've never asked that? No, no, nobody asked that. They asked, is she good looking? Is he cute? Uh, is he funny? Is she funny? Da, 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 da. And the problem is those things fade away quickly in a marriage. Kindness, gentleness, those are the kinds of things that last in a marriage. Does she help me become the best person I can be? Does Jeannie help me be the best Mike that I can be? And the answer to that is unequivocally yes. Uh, I, I know that whenever you see Jeannie, you say, she, man, she's cute, she's pretty, she's sweet, she's nice, and she's all of those. I can also tell you she's meaner than a junkyard dog. In those times when I need to be brought uh, to my senses, she has an uncanny way of getting my attention. And most of the time is just with one sentence. Uh, one time I was coming home from uh, be, being with mom. I was mad, I was frustrated, I was angry. And I told Jeannie, I said, I've had it, I've quit. I'm not going to do anything. I can all just go jump in the lake as far as I'm concerned. And she just looked at me and she said, that's not you. That was it. And I knew. I'd had to stay in the, I'd had to stay in the fight. I had to work it out because she knew that I was not the kind of guy that would just abandon my mom like that. So that's what she does. And, yes, she helps me be a better person. Uh, does the job I'm in help me become a better 
follower of Christ? Does it serve his kingdom purposes? Now, you can do that in a lot of different jobs. You can do that in a lot of different ways. I don't think you're going to stand in front of Jesus and he said, you know, I really meant for you to go to law school. I didn't mean for you to be an engineer. Uh, I think Jesus gives us lots of slack in, in the various lanes of our life that we will, that we would choose. Um, I, I think there are lots of ways that you can please him. There are lots of ways that you can enjoy his presence. But the bottom line question and the ultimate thing about God's will is, am I doing every day those little things that help me become more like Christ? It is in those small steps that you end up being very successful in the only journey that matters. So what is it that you need to do now to help you be more like Christ? What is it that you need to stop doing that doesn't help you become more like Christ? This is a long journey, but we take it step by step. I hope this helps. I'm Mike Glenn. I'm the senior pastor of Brentwood Baptist Church. And if you like what we're doing here, I'd love for you to hit subscribe or like, and we'll see you next time.